I see the three things are the rigor. The filament can be thin or can be normal. Most of all, there is some filament that is uh, leaking. And uh, in a few minutes, uh, the printing will be more or less but as you can see, okay? It's fat. Check it. It's really thin and uh, it won't be able to be used by be able to work at all. Okay, so we got a problem. The replicator is leaking some. <laughs> so I'm trying to cleanse the the thermal barrier. The thermal bar. So for that I need to uh, dismount the uh, the print head, partially remove the, the left uh, fan, uh, remove the motor, and uh, this is the thermal barrier, and um, I will try to manually uh, plug the, the filament and try to, to go back and forth like that, just to to be ensured that the thermal barrier is uh, is cleansed. So uh, now the, um, I'm in the in the end of the preheat process. So my goal will be to plug this and try to to push it to to wait that the the filament goes down and, and to remove it to push it and to remove. I've seen a video like that. And I hope it will it will help to to, to it will help to work out my problem another problem. So here it is. We are near the two hundred and thirty degrees. Okay. So I'm starting to manually do the job. I'm pushing the filament. It goes down as I as I, I know it and okay it's it's doing the job. It goes down. Unfortunately it's uh, difficult to to push it more after a few seconds. It doesn't seem to be uh, easy to do do it. I'm cutting this and start again. Push it. Crap, it seems to be stuck. Okay. Pushing it. So I can go back and forth. I go to the end. It's a manual operation. I have some difficulties to push this here. Seems to be stuck. Okay. Start again. But I don't think it's a problem with the thermal barrier. It's not a problem of the thermal barrier, in fact. Okay. 
You see, I can go back and forth. And it's not a problem. For example, just the problem happens when when the nozzle when the, the the filament enters in the nozzle in fact start again I see that the thermal barrier has no problem it's a problem inside the nozzle Because the distance here, the distance here, corresponds to the the nozzle. Uh, maybe should I use something else than the filament itself? And here is another tool. I'll be able to check if yeah, it's the same distance. See, I can go through the thermal barrier and no problem so the problem is is not that the thermal barrier has a problem I can go through with every tool I have okay so let's start something else uh, so now I've, I've tested that the, the thermal barrier has no problem uh, I will try to create a blob as suggested by the MakerBot Industries uh, uh, technical support okay I remounted the print head and I'm actually using the job mod to um, to be sure that the print head and the build plate are closer because I want to create willfully a blob I don't know why but I uh, <laughs> create a blob I don't like blobs because it botches and ruins every printing that I've done previously so I don't know why I have to create a blob anyway Okay, uh, I'm using a paper I'm preheating again the the MakerBot replicator to reload the okay, filament. So I've started to load the filament and uh, here I pushed a bit so that it's creating a blob. I'm trying to see if it's true. Uh, well, it looks like a blob. It's it's difficult to see it because uh, it's white paper and the film is white. Let's stop it. Uh, let's see if this blob. You do me. Job mode. I see this uh, blob. Ah, oh, yeah, the paper stays glued on it. Ooh, pretty blob. Okay, I'll uh, preheat this and cleanse the print here. Uh, okay, so the print head looks good. Uh, when it 
the pretty hit button is pushed you can see that the the extruder tears residual filament in the print head so I remove it and then I will try to make it as from SD a simple spool holder uh, you can see it's still it's still doing something that is not right you see it's uh, Okay, I'm starting to, uh, to print, and we'll see if it works, I don't know. Anyway, it's 230 degrees. No, I don't, uh, I don't believe it could work because it's, it's still the same problem, in fact. It'll probably be fat up now. Once again. My problem is that the print head is unable to print something really. starts to be thinner and thinner after a few seconds okay as you can see and sometimes it stops to be it's it's randomly it's randomly bigger or thinner when uh, why, why sometimes it's as large as a as a hair. And that's why it's as you can see here. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's it's dangerously dangerously thin. And the print head goes very slowly. So I'm afraid that when it will go faster, those thin filament won't make it at all. You see? It's totally irregular. And the problem is, is that it doesn't come from the top of the print head. It's in the nozzle that there is something that makes it difficult to push. It's something that is blocking uh, the printing process directly in the top of the nozzle. I don't know what to do there. So the, the printer now goes faster. It's trying to build another layer. You can see the second layer build faster. But here, this is fucked up here. I, I truly don't believe that it will be helpful to build uh, other layers on the top of it. And oh, another bottle. Oh shit. Another bottle. And you can see it's totally fucked up. And uh, I'd like to show you this. I'd like to show you this. Um, the, the problem with this print head is that it's tearing uh, filament. It's tearing filament around. See? Or just around the nozzle. And uh, globally, you can create a blob like that when the nozzle is blocked. And it is the evidence that there is something that is. Uh, 
blocking the filament on the top of the nozzle because if everything could go down faster and easier you shouldn't have this so, so, so there is something in the nozzle it doesn't come from the thermal barrier it's truly in the nozzle that something goes wrong uh, I will have to find another solution to, to cleanse the nozzle but maybe from the directly from the bottom because this this is what I have each time I try to print anything anything the first layer the first layer of the wrap looks more or less good and then it's everything is fucked up and blobs everywhere like that and I get this uh, uh, it has a, a 0 0.4 millimeters uh, diameter and I'm going to check if it can go through the, the nozzle globally it should go through the nozzle because the, 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 the hole of the nozzle has this diameter so this kind of tool could help me to, to see if it's something that blocks it just under the nozzle so I start to print it, and while I'm doing it, I'm going to uh, take uh, take this and start a box. This, this is really thin; it seems very fragile, but it has the right diameter, 0 0.4 millimeters. So I, I will try to use a drill to to make another hole. I, I just try to see if it goes through, it's able to go through the hole of the nozzle, because if, if I'm even not able to, to reach something, it, it's really the evidence that the nozzle is uh, clogged. That's all. I don't know, maybe there is a particle that has been stuck on the, the nozzle, I don't know. So, I get all the time this residual filament that comes from the pressure there is some kind of pressure so it thanks to this pressure it goes out of the but it's really really slow and you cannot bleed something with a slow extrusion like that Okay, let's see what's, what happens. It doesn't even go through the hole. And it's really, really a thin, a thin thing. You see, it's blocked. There is something that bothers me here. It's boring. This, this is blocked. It goes a bit for one or two millimeters higher and then it's blocked. And what happens? So, there is something that, that happens here, that the filament is really unable to go down at the right speed with the right pressure. And this is the evidence that nothing, nothing works because of the nozzle. And frankly, I don't know how to to remove it. By the way, I realized that the, the kind of tape, uh, thermal paste that surrounds the print head is partially uh, burnt and also 
there is a lack of thermal paste this kind of orange thing uh, I think that uh, it doesn't do its job probably because some parts are totally burnt let me show you that look at this this is burnt this is burnt this is, this is black this is burnt and uh, I've seen a lot of videos and in all those videos the this kind of thermal paste surrounding the printhead uh, it's white it's uh, clean it's bigger and I think that this this one doesn't do properly the, the job and the heat is is burning some parts of the mechanism and it probably explains why the nozzle has been clogged faster than expected maybe I don't know I make hypothesis and uh, well as you can see it still continues to shit something but it's because of the pressure okay so this sum ups my uh, maintenance process uh, the thermal barrier does its job the motor does its job but the print head has a pro uh, the, the, the nozzle has a problem and something surrounding is burnt and probably has to be replaced so I should have a replacement for the nozzle or all the all this part because uh, I don't know what to do I've tested all the solutions I think that it's fucked up